Uh, my name is Doug Basham. For anybody that don't know me, uh, I'm a 16-year, I guess you'd call me a veteran. I don't call myself a veteran. I just call myself a student of the game. For 16 years, I've had quite a good time with this uh, business. Uh, I wouldn't say I made a lot of money, but I made a considerable amount of money. There is money to be made if you do everything right, get trained by the right people, and uh, don't get hurt. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and uh, take a look at some of you guys, show you a few things to uh, hopefully do at least one of those three things, main one, not get hurt. Um, but by no means are you, when we're finished, will you be trained by Doug Basham, but you will have been at a training seminar with Doug Basham. Do not get that confused. Um, how many people have uh, been in a squirrel circle before? How many people have wrestling experience? Amateur? professional, taekwondo, judo, jiu-jitsu, anything like that? How many people play hurling? <laughs> All right. Well, what I'm going to show you guys today is uh, give you some of the basics here. Um, basics like running ropes, uh, maybe hitting turnbuckles, uh, maybe uh, falling on your back, not otherwise known as taking a bump, and uh, show you guys how to do some of those things. And then we'll start from there. Um, I always like to warm up. <clears throat> you got stretched out good by Warren. So uh, we'll warm up a little bit here by, are the ropes tight? Yeah, OK. Hitting the ropes. And this is how I was taught. I was taught by uh, Nightmare Danny Davis. He's my uncle. And he's uh, about 25, 30 year veteran. Um, and he taught me. Um, Everything I know about wrestling today, along with Jim Cornette, he taught me a lot. And another guy you guys may not have heard of, but his name's Rip Rogers, one of the smartest men in wrestling I know. He taught me a lot about psychology in wrestling. Now, some people think wrestling is just all about getting up here and doing flips, doing moonsaults, doing some crazy stuff like getting hit with trash cans, falling on tacks, um, and just doing all these high-flying acrobatic moves that you see on TNA today and stuff like that. When my, in my mind and in my book, professional wrestling is about telling a story. And if you watch WWE, the guys in there, they, they're pretty good, at what they, pretty good at their craft and good at what they do. And if you really get involved in their matches, like Shawn Michaels, uh, Triple H, Randy Orton, you know, John Cena, Undertaker, JBL, those guys are the leaders of the guys of telling a story. And that's the whole idea in a wrestling match with uh, one with WWE. Yeah. That's, WWE stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. You have to have an entertainment value to wrestling. There's more to it. TNA is total non-stop action. And that's their brand. That's what they give. You know? And Irish Whip Wrestling is exactly what it says. Irish Whip Wrestling. This is a wrestling company, you know? But we also want to try and uh, entertain the people that come to buy a ticket. A lot of people get uh, entertaining the people uh, misconstrued or um, they get confused about what's entertaining to the people. Some people think, like I was saying, doing a whole bunch of flips and throwing people around and just beating somebody up is entertaining. Well, there's a place for it. What's entertaining is these hundreds of people that come to the show, getting them involved in your matches. Like, you can't forget that these, there's people out here that are up here to, uh, that come to see you. So sometimes you just get, you get in here and you get involved with just yourself and what you're doing and getting all your shit in, ooh, getting all your stuff in, uh, that's not entertaining and the people are not getting their money's worth, you know. Um, give me just a little bit of introduction. Uh, I started out in 19... <laughs> 93. Had to think for a minute. Holy shit. 1993 is when I first stepped in the ring, trained by my Uncle Danny, and it was no easy road. I had to fight, claw, scrape. Nothing was handed to me. I had to go get it and take it. Um, and people think it's easy. It's not easy. You don't just go outside and, and jump off of a house into a trampoline or, or uh, throw somebody around on the ground and call yourself a wrestler. Now that, that's garbage in my book. It's called backyard wrestling. It's garbage. Don't do it. Don't get involved with in that. Don't even have that label tagged onto you because you'll be labeled that, a backyard wrestler. 
and they're not respected in our business. I don't respect them because what they do is garbage. Um, beating themselves up, cutting themselves with chainsaw or uh, weed eaters and glass and all that. Now granted, there's an ECW which I was involved with, it's called Hardcore, but a little bit of that is place and matches, but it's done at the right spot. One second. It's done at the right time, at the right spot. Um, dumb tax, all that comes to play, although I still don't I, don't, I don't, I won't do it. That's not my style. I'm a mat technician, you know, I'm a storyteller, I'm an entertainer. Um, so it took me 10 years to get to the WWE. 10 years. It wasn't easy. I had to work two jobs on, on the side while I wrestled on the weekends like probably most of, most of you guys, most of the Irish Whip guys do. Oh, don't move around? <clears throat> Is it too much for everybody to come over here and stand? Will the camera still get it? Is that better? Yeah. Hey, let me face the camera. See, rule number one in TV, always face the camera. <laughs> See, I mess up too. Where was I? Ah, thank you. At least somebody was listening. Uh, it took me 10 years to get to the WWE to actually make it. And uh, at the time I was um, working in an a automobile factory and got a phone call while I was underneath the truck shooting bolts. That day, I, I changed, that, day, that phone call changed the rest of my life because I got the phone call with WWE to be, in develop, be a developmental talent. So I reported to OVW, which in Louisville, Kentucky, which is where I lived already, and started my training. And then uh, it took me a year and a half to get to the main roster. You know, it, nothing's given to you. They want to see how bad you want it. And you had to go to work every day because that's what it was, work for uh, a developmental, in the developmental system and work your way up from the bottom. Um, I stress that because I admire and I have loads of respect for those who come in off the street like you guys, pay their money, and then uh, work hard to climb the ladder, you know, and, and come every day, listen, learn from the best that's at the place where you have, um, asking loads of questions, not dumbass questions, you know, like, hey, how do you do a moonsault? You know what I mean? There's more to it than that. Um, there's a place for it again, but again, I don't do that. <laughs> uh, then finally I made it to the main roster with my partner, Danny. Danny, uh, um, holy shit, what's his name? <laughs> Holly. Danny Holly. Uh, he goes by the damn goes by the dam name the damages what he what he went by and um, then they had dubbed him uh, Doug uh, Danny Basham because they liked my last name they said it was it was I was made for wrestling my name was anyway uh, and then we were the Basham brothers and we had about a four year run with WWE they had lots of fun traveled the world made uh, made a little bit of money and um, met a lot of women <laughs> just kidding <laughs> uh, but had a lot of fun saw a lot of things and done a lot of things I wouldn't do um, if I wouldn't, uh, in wrestling, work my ass off to get where I was. So uh, that's kind of like a quick overview of my history because a lot of people will read the internet and read stuff about me and it's not true. None of it is. Nobody's got the true story on me. So I just kind of give it to you right there in a nutshell. It's a Cliff's Notes version, very short version of my uh, history. Oh yeah, I did go to TNA for a short stint. Didn't quite fit my style. I didn't fit their style. And then I uh, decided to go Europe, go glo uh, international, and uh, Irish Whip was one of the first places I came on my own. Right here is where I started my international uh, career, and uh, I guess I didn't kill the town or anything because Simon had me back, which I'm very thankful for, giving me the opportunity to come over and work, and traveling into England and hopefully Germany and Holland um, and a few other places, and uh, just don't ever quit. Don't ever tell, let somebody tell you no. Just keep plugging away, because that's what I did, and that's what I'm still doing. So that's it. That's my career up to date right here. That brings me up to this point right here where I'm standing. So I want to show you guys a few things. Um, I know none of you have ever been in a ring before. Show you guys the same way I was shown the very first time I ever stepped in the ring, and that was a ring entrance. And uh, how we did it was stood on the outside, and 
grabbed the ropes and just hopped over the top rope. I would do it, but I'm mic'd and I'll try. No, I won't. Warren will do it. You show him how to t jump over the top rope in the ring. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Don't trip. Mine was a little more um, smooth than that the first time I ever did it. But <laughs> really? <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was the first thing I ever did when I was being trained in wrestling. And I was like, are you kidding me? Where's the body slams and suplexes and where's the headlocks and all that? But uh, my uncle told me, well, the first thing you do when you walk in the ramps, you got to get in the ring. <laughs> and I said, like, yeah, I guess you're right. So everybody, everybody just form a line. And I want to see you jump in over the top rope. Did everybody see how he did that? Here, I'll demonstrate it. Once again, a little more Take smooth. How you doing, guys? How you doing? You grab underhand, overhand, 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 whichever's comfortable for you. And you just jump in and you just hit your head on the top rope. Jump in and jump in. This is the very first thing I ever did. Don't be shy. I want to see it. Now. Do it from the corner. The reason you do it from the corner is there's a, it's a lot more sturdy. If you do this, doing it from the middle is a little more advanced because it just got a lot more give, and you're definitely going to bite the dust if you do it in the center. So, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope if your feet get tangled up or you're going to crash and burn. And I'll laugh. <laughs> Supposed to land on your feet, not your ass. <laughs> Definitely got your own style. Yeah, yeah. Just, just come around next. Don't be shy. Just start a line. Everybody, just right here. Just filter in and come on up. Start over there. Jump in. You only learn by doing. The first one to get it. Very good. Two in a row. Can we make it three? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It's not as easy as it looks, is it, fellas? <laughs> That's awesome. Next, keep going. <clears throat> Smooth. Oh, shit. Not bad. Not bad. Harder than it looks, isn't it? You all right? You made it in. Very good. Oh. Very good. Nice try. Nice try. Valiant effort. <laughs> Come on, great night, White North. <laughs> hey, you land on your feet. <laughs> Is that everybody? Now, was that easy or was it not as easy as it looked, right? A little bit tougher than uh, what you think. So when you see guys just easing over the ropes, it's not as easy as it looks. It took uh, took a lot of a lot of years of practice, well, years, maybe weeks and months of practice. You know, it's not that easy. This shit's not easy, fellas. 
I mean, it's not rocket science either, but something you got to practice at it. Just like anything, you got to practice at it to be good. Uh, who almost killed themselves? <laughs> I got to see you guys try this again because I was entertained. <laughs> no, I'm just, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so that is getting into the ring. That's one way of getting into the ring. Um, you know, a little bit, little bit more fancy. That's just the first thing I ever learned in wrestling. I wanted to show you guys the very first thing I ever did, and I didn't have, I didn't have my wrestling boots. That's, a, and it's not easy. Now, granted, <clears throat> I was pretty smooth, and I went straight over the top, and because uh, wrestling came easy to me, it's like I took it, took to it like a duck to water, and uh, just, I guess I was just kind of a natural. Um, but that's getting into the ring, and some of you got in the hard way. All right, uh, as soon as I fix the ropes here, we may, I may show you guys a little bit about, um, you may be trying to run the ropes a little bit. Uh, we'll do real slow, real easy. And once again, it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, if you're not careful, you can go to hit the ropes, and you'll go flying straight out, the bat, straight out to hit the floor. You know what I mean? Um, so when I show you guys this, I don't want you to go fast. I want you to go slow, all right? Now the uh, more advanced guys, guys that have wrestled before, you guys don't have to run the ropes if you don't want to, but you can, I can watch, get your steps down, but uh, I, I, I know the guys that have been doing this before. Um, any, any questions so far? Yeah, yeah, we'll try it again. Whenever you go to run the ropes, you're going to jump over the top. All right? <laughs> so tonight, today, whenever you guys get in the ring, we'll, uh, that's how we'll get in the ring. That's how I always had to get in the ring. I always had to jump over the top, over the top rope. Now, some of you might want to be clever. You can climb through the middle rope if you want, if you're hurting your ass, you know, or if you're a little nervous or don't think you can do it and want to be a little, a little safe. It's real easy to get in the ring like this, too. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> That's the easy way. <laughs> but everybody should have a little fun jump over the top rope, you know what I mean? But if, you, if you're going to fall, make sure you hang on to the rope, bam, so you don't kill yourself. You know, everybody held on to the rope and they were fine. They just hit their ass and feet, made a little noise, didn't hurt, right? Um, now, when I hit the ropes, when I run and I hit the ropes, I grab the rope with one hand and then I put my back up against it like this. Back is flush. My mid back and my ass hits the second rope right here and I hang on to this rope. Now the reason I grab this rope whenever I hit them is because, two reasons, and I've done this. I went to go hit the ropes, I missed the rope and hit it and I slipped straight through, boom, and almost went all the way through except my neck kept me from going all the way through, and yes, it did hurt my neck. Secondly, sometimes, do you guys know what these are? You know what's in here? You know what this is? This is tape, and then wrapped on the tape, it's wrapped on a garden hose, I do believe, and inside that garden hose is a steel cable. Yeah, it's not, nope, it's not rope, it's steel cable, garden hose, and tape. And sometimes steel cable um, over overly used will snap and break. I'm not saying these will, I'm just saying it happens. That's why I was trained and taught to grab the top rope because when it breaks, pop, you give and if you don't have on hold of this top rope, you're going to go flying backwards. If you got a hold of the top rope, you'll, you'll, you'll just flip over and you'll hit the, the mat right there and you have something to hang on to. Alright? So, I'm going sh to show you guys how, to, how I hit the ropes. Made it look easy. I went across in two steps. Now Grant, I've been doing this for 16 years. It is easy for me. If it's not easy for you, I don't want you going fast. You can even go slower than what I just went. All right, I just want you guys, for one, main thing, I want you to be safe. Two, I want you to do it, I don't say the right way, there's a lot of ways of doing something, but in my eyes, this is how I do it, so it's the right way to me. Just gotta be careful what I say, because there's um, apples and oranges, you know. 
There's a thousand different ways to make chicken noodle soup. That's an analogy that was taught to me by my uncle. Um, meaning, there's a whole bunch of different ways to hit the ropes. All right, first. Is that it? Yeah. I'm watching. All right, that's good. It's not bad. When you guys get in, I mean, start just, you know, hit the rope, and just grab it and hit the rope maybe, and then, and then take off. That way I can see that you're grabbing the rope and see how your back's hitting before you take off. Next. Okay, wait and turn a little bit, little bit later. When you come in, turn about right here. You're, you're turning right here and taking steps back. You don't want to go backwards into the ropes because uh, that's that's an accident waiting to happen. So when you run, come and then when you turn, you should almost be there. Turn into it like that. All right. That's better. There you go. Trying to do the Ric Flair on me? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good job, buddy. Next. <laughs> Start off hanging on the rope there. There you go, just take a couple bounces. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Next. Can't believe nobody wants to jump over the top rope. Hmm. Oh, stop. Just walk. Walk. We'll just walk. Boom. Turn. Hit. There you go. Come on, walk with me. Walk. You're running. Hit. Walk with me. Turn. Hit. Just walk it. Walk it a few times first. Don't go, don't run. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Need some work. Need some work. <laughs> okay, stop. You're taller, so you're going to have to like lean down into the ropes a little bit. Okay. Um, this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to grab the rope, stand here, and I want you to bounce into it like that for me. Yeah. Nope, 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 like this. Put both feet out here in front of me and bounce into it like that. That's it. That's, a, that's where you need it. Slow, walk. Walk. You're running. Walk. You're standing straight up and down. Lean into it. Turn. There you go. Then you kind of use the rope so it bounce you off a little bit. There you go. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You got to crawl before you walk, guys. You know what I mean? You can't just take off and hit the ropes because then you'll look like this. You know what I mean? You hurt yourself. Don't be afraid to mess up either, guys. That's how you learn. Yeah, just a couple bounces and then... Take. Okay, turn. When you, when you hit the ropes, we always turn this way. Turn into it. Yeah, turn, turn this way when you go to hit the ropes. And go all the way flush, your back all the way flush. There you go. It won't hurt as bad. There you go. That's it. There you go. Very good, very good, very good.
Can't believe nobody's jumping over the top rope. the high step of going. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. My partner does it all the time. I mean, he runs the ropes, he hits, he goes. He doesn't like that too. It's just his style. Doesn't mean it's wrong. All right, stop. If you guys, if you've never run the ropes before in your entire life, ever, do not get up here and start running. Walk, and then we'll pick it up a little bit, okay? So what you wanna do when you first get in, grab the rope, bounce off of it a couple times to get used to it, you know what I mean? And then just walk and hit the ropes. Get yourself into a little bit of a rhythm. It's not as easy as it looks, I'm telling you. You guys are finding this stuff out. This is perfect. And I don't care if he walks out and says thank you and that's all he did. He's doing it right. Very good. Got to crawl before you can walk. Went real slow and he slowly built up as he got more confidence, he got more comfortable hitting the ropes. Now, you guys that ran the ropes, a lot of you are hitting it sideways. Are you feeling like a rope? Does it kind of like hurt right here a little bit? Just a little bit? Well, the reason I do, I hit it flat back like this because if you turn sideways, sometimes you're going to hit your uh, shoulder blade. Ow! You're going to keep hitting it and it's, it's going to hurt. You get like a bone bruise and it, that hurts. Um, if you go flat back like I was telling you, you bounce off of it. Doesn't hurt as bad. It actually feels pretty good. Yeah, just slip back and bounce off the ropes a couple times. Get ready. Guys that are up here doing it and looking good doing it, you guys, for those never done it before, watch them. You know, because uh, they've, they've done this a few times. You can learn something by watching too, you know. Fantastic. Easy as one, two, three. Very good. Very good, buddy. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it. <laughs> All right, stop. You're already wrong. Other hand. Oh, stop. Come here. What's your name, buddy? Who? Owen. Owen. It's like this. Right here. And you hit. And just bounce off of it a couple times before you guys get going. You guys are wanting to jump in and start running. Don't be afraid to sit here and Hit the ropes a couple times and then take off. It's all about feel. There you go. Very good. 
Yeah, try it. See what you got. You'll get it. You get it. You tried. See? I mean, it's funny, but he tried it. I don't see anybody else jumping over the top rope. <laughs> That's it, buddy. Yeah, you lean right into it. That's it. Just lean right into it. Yep. You're turning, or you're turning just a little too soon. Yeah. When you come, when you come walk in, you come in. Boom. Yeah. Just like that. You turn just before you hit the ropes. Yeah. Just, just, just walk it. Don't go fast. That's it. Yeah. Come running, you're, you're hopping, and this is what's going to happen. When you hop, whoo, you're going to go straight over. When you come, when you turn, you want to kind of lean. See, I missed the rope. You want to kind of boom, lean into it a little bit. Do you want to hop up into it? Like that. One, you're going to kill your kidneys, and two, you're going to go to the top rope. That's it. That's it. You got it. You're a pro. Come in, yeah. you turn, turn this way, boom, and grab, bam. Yeah, you, you, you turn this way, bam. All right, and then just kind of walk on over. Yeah, you turn the wrong way again, buddy. Here, I'll walk with you. And usually, guys, um, I've noticed I forgot to tell you my fault because sometimes I just assume and I forget sometimes. But when you run the ropes, you, you, traditionally you want to run in the middle. So you want to hit the middle of the ropes. I mean, some guys, I don't know why they do it, because it's a spot maybe planned that they're going over here or whatever, they shouldn't do it. But don't hit the ropes here. One, it just looks awkward, and two, it hurts like hell. Bam! Right here, it's a little softer, and that's just the way it's supposed to be done. Right in the middle. Okay, we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk, turn this way. There you go, we'll hit the ropes, boom. We're gonna walk, turn this way. Nope, wrong way, other way, turn. Yeah. Whammo. There you go. We're going to hit the rope. Oh. There you go. That way. Boom. Walk. There you go. Now just walk. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Uh -uh. Walk. Don't go fast. There you go. Just walk. We'll get you up to speed later. All right, good. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna, I would like it if you was to grab right here. And like, you, you, you know, because you put your grab here, you put your elbow over, you're grabbing like this. Okay. That'd be too easy to slip and fall. Right here, you got a hold of it. Grab it, Bam. No. Grab it and, and put your whole back up against the rope like that. Yeah, that's your side. That's your side. It's a little better. It's a little better. We'll get there. Gonna jump over the top? Nope, okay. Stop. 
Have you ever hit the ropes before? Okay. Try again. And you're at about a 10. Let's get it to a 5. So slow it down and let me watch your, your form. Your form's a little off. You feel you're hitting it awkward? You, guys, you don't have to come up here and try and impress me, guys. I know you guys have never been in the ring before. You're going to impress me more if you stop and you go slow and you do it correctly instead of coming up here trying to hit the ropes real fast. These other guys that are up here going fast, they're seasoned. I mean, they've been in the ring. They've, they've done this thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So that they got the green light to go ahead and go. Everybody else, if you haven't done it at least 5,000 times, walk. I would rather see you do it right. That way you've got a good foundation, a good base. You can't build a house on a piece of crap base. You build a house on a big, strong base, right? See, my, that makes sense? <laughs> um, so try it again. Go slow, walk. That's it. Very good. So how much better you feel how much better that was? That looked a lot better. That looked a lot better. Anybody else? All right, ring entrances. I want half of you here and half of you here. I want to see ring entrances. Just split up, so jump in on, you can either jump in on this side, guys, or this side, whatever feels, whatever feels better or more comfortable to you. All right, it's better to do it, try to go jump in from this side once and this side once, all right? Because nobody jumped in over the top rope and I want to see it. I know it's not as easy as it looks. Give, uh, give the ring, ring technicians a second to get the ring to specs. We good? All right, guys, go ahead. You don't have to do it one at a time. I want to see both people doing it. And remember, when you get up, jump in off this side. Next time, jump in on this side. All right, go ahead. Let's see it. Do it. No, go ahead. I want both at the same time. I can watch both. Not bad. Not bad. Close. Next. Yeah, when you guys get in, just, just get out so the next two guys can get up. And then just alternate. One guy will jump, and the next guy jumps so I can watch. That's better. That's better. Like a pro. Right on the money. Not bad, not bad. Hey, all right. Oh, your pants are falling down. Good deal, you land on your feet, good. Don't let go of the rope. Hang on to that top rope if your legs get crossed, right? Hang on tight. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't ever change that. Keep that. Okay. Go again, guys. We're going the opposite side this time. If you went on this side, go on this side. Same here. Go again. Just switch sides. It's a little bit different. <clears throat> Hold on. If you're on this side, this is how I would do it. I personally, I, I, I hang on overhand, but you can go like this here, and I just kind of like go up and over. Well, I'd do it, but my mic would fall. <laughs> it's different. 
Yeah, legs on that side. There you go. It's not that easy. You want to swing your legs to that side now. Good, good. No. No, you want your legs to go on this side. You want to hang on close over here. Right here. And you just whoosh, that way. If it doesn't feel comfortable to you, then, then don't do it. Always get in on the other side. Yeah. All right? But it's good to know both. Is it cold in here or is it just me? It's not that easy, is it, fellas? Make sure you hang on to the rope. If your feet get tangled, don't let go of the top rope, okay? You want your feet to go that way. There you go. Perfect right there, guys. That's, that's how you do it. That was very good. Any questions on the ring entrances, fellas? It's not that easy, is it? A little bit harder than it looks, right? Who thinks that they can just get into the ring and wrestle because they've seen it on TV? They think it's that easy. Hell, you can't even get into the ring. So don't think it's, not easy. Don't think it's that easy. <laughs> uh, so that... Pretty good start, not bad guys, not bad at all for first time getting in, you know, stepping in the ring. Not bad. You just gotta, those are some of the things that you gotta practice. Everybody come over here. But some of the things that you gotta practice, you know. Practice makes perfect. Um, running the ropes, not that easy either, is it? I mean, the guys on TV and even the guys here at Irish Whip make it look easy. But like I said, they've been doing it a thousand times, you know what I mean? Thousands and thousands of times they hit the ropes. Endless amount of times. Some of you guys might be a little bit sore where you hit the ropes or where you fell and slammed down here on the uh, <laughs> mat. Now I'm debating, I'm debating, Warren, what do you think? I'm debating doing small bumps. What do you think? Just straight back, straight back. All right, fellas, you guys are going to graduate to bump taking. Everybody come close. Let's go. This is how I was shown to take a bump. It was so small of a bump and so easy. Now, it's very important. A bump is when you fall into that. Bam. That's called a bump. Uh, it's very important when you take a bump to keep your chin tucked. If not, Bam! Lights out. Right?
perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Small is probably not the Very good. Who else? Who's next? Who wants to be next? Who's scared? Who's not scared? Now get set, get down, and then go. Keep your chin tucked. That's not bad. That's pretty good. One at a time, fellas. One at a time. There you go. That's what I've been waiting on. Somebody to get into the ring, jump over, take a bump. Perfect. Very good. Next. Looks like this right here is a line. So form a straight line, guys, and we're just going to filter in right here. So we got a nice camera shot. Right here, right in the middle. Not bad, pretty good. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, when you take a bump, where do you guys think the best place to take a bump would be? No, no, no in the ring. Not, not on your back, on your body, in the ring. Right in the middle. Why do you think the middle is the best place? What's that? It's the softest part. Why is it the softest part? Because it's the, you got these long beams and that's where it's got the most give. I mean, it's still going to hurt. You guys are still going to go, tomorrow when you wake up, you're still going to be like, oh, God. It's, <laughs> just wait till tomorrow. Very good. Perfect. See how he put his hands out like that? It helps make noise and it keeps you from ramming your elbows and getting big uh, goose eggs right here like I did last time I was here because I did it wrong. Hey, even I mess up, guys. That's perfect. Right. Yeah, dude, it's, you, this right here is an Irish whip veteran. I'll clap. Everybody else who's never taken a bump before, I want you guys to take a shit first and then bump, okay? What's that? Uh, you can do, do, however, do, you can do however you want. Very good. Yeah, just, uh, I'd rather see you squat first. I want to see, then, 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 go for, then we'll go from there. Not bad, not too bad, not too bad. You need more of a solid bump, you know what I mean? Have you ever taken a bump before? Okay, we're gonna squat down, put your hands right here, and you're just gonna go back, keep your chin tucked. Not too bad, not too bad, not bad at all. First time, not bad at all. Yeah, right there. You ever taken a bump before? Nope, all right, just like that. Squat down and keep your chin tucked. Not bad. Not bad. You ever taken a bump before? All right. Just like everybody else. Squat. Keep your chin tucked. Oh, keep your chin tucked. But good. Very good. All right. You ever taken a bump before? Okay. Squat down and keep your chin tucked. No, tough. There you go. Ooh. You'll feel that tomorrow. Very good. Uh, reason I want you jumping over the top rope and taking a bump is because we're going to integrate three things together. We jump over the top rope. We're going to hit the ropes once, twice. Come to the middle, stop, and take a bump. I'll demonstrate. Oops again. I didn't rush, I didn't run, you know, I didn't even build up a sweat. 
Show us what you got. Lead us the right way. Yeah. You land on your feet. Spin to the right. Spin to the right. There you go. Very good. Get in there. Get in there. Right on. To the right. Spin to the right. When you get up, spin to the right. You almost had it all. You almost got a clap out on me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very good. That's an advanced way of doing it. Very good. Those are your IWW vets. Comes one way. And that's where you guys will all be someday, right there doing that. It'll come to you like clockwork. It'll be nothing. Try hanging on a little bit closer to the um, edge here so you have a little more stability, and maybe that'll help you out a little bit because maybe the rope's giving way too much because you're way out here. Try putting one hand here and the other one over here. Try it again. Yeah. A little better. A little better. A little better. Almost. You're there. Hey, you, you didn't fall. Stop. Turn, turn the right way. There you go. Yeah. Just go slow. Walk. Take a bump. Very good. Very good. What did you do wrong? You know what you did? What? You didn't stop. You didn't tuck your chin. You scared me to death. I thought you were knocked out. You tuck your chin. <laughs> Boom. Tuck, make sure you tuck your chin. You're scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> yep. Much better. Before you guys take your bumps, come set and get set and then go. Unless you are uh, been in a ring and ran the ropes a thousand times before. And those guys know who I'm talking to. It's getting better, man. It's getting better. Toe. 
good. Very good. All right, come on. You can do it. <laughs> Stop. Do it right. There you go. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Not bad. There you go. <laughs> don't get in a hurry, guys. You don't have to get in a hurry. Very good. Very good. Okay. Oh, shit. First. First of all, if you're gonna be on this side, grab over here. One hand almost on the turnbuckle. Legs come this way. If you're not comfortable doing this way, get on this side and get on this way so your legs come over, yeah. Do what you do what you do and do it well. That's not bad. Slow, 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 slow. There you go. There you go. I'd rather see you do it right than run and do it wrong. Now take a bump. Good. There you go. Just ask me if I want to coffee. Say you want a coffee? Okay. All right, little man, see what you got. I'm gonna show you Rey Mysterio style. You ready? Rey Mysterio hits him right there. Let's see you hit it right there on the bottom. There you go. Very good. I'm nicknaming you Little Mysterio. That's your nickname, that's your name. Little Mysterio. Can you do a 619? <laughs> oh, that's it? Oh, crap. Man, you guys are cruising, man. You guys have already went from shit to not so much shit. You know what I mean? And we've just been, what, an hour and a half maybe? What, two hours? I don't know how long we've been going. You guys are fast learners. You're doing really well. You're actually listening and paying attention and actually applying what I'm, uh, what I'm showing you guys. So I'm very, very, give yourself a hand. I'm very happy. Very, you know, I love showing guys and teaching guys that are hungry and want to um, have an open mind and be able to say, no, I don't know anything. Please show me. And the guys I hate to teach are guys that come in here and don't know what the hell they're talking about and come in and try and tell me that they know what they're talking about. Tell me how to teach them. You know what I mean? You guys are, you guys are great, man. Um, everybody's very, very, you like sponges, and it's awesome. And it's showing, you're showing it to me right here, so I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> these are turnbuckles. Yes, they're covered with uh, pillowy, soft looking padding, but looks can be deceiving. When you guys hit a turnbuckle, you'll realize real fast that these harness, they're not as soft as they look. Just like running the ropes. Running the ropes are not as easy as it looks, am I right? And jumping over the top rope is not as easy as it looks, am I right? It takes practice. And you guys uh, are doing really well. Um, each time people are get jumping over the top rope, getting, the, getting in the ring, you're actually landing on your feet. You may still be getting caught, but you're adjusting getting caught on your feet, or you're landing on your feet. When you guys hit a turnbuckle, and I do not envy you guys because I'm gonna make you do it. When you guys hit a turnbuckle, you wanna hit it flush. If you don't hit it flush, you're gonna know it and it's gonna hurt. So you wanna hit a turnbuckle, you set down into it like this. Boom, your, your ass hits the second one, the mid part of your back, mid to upper part of your back hits the top one. And the easiest way I'm gonna show you is just stand here and you just 
Throw yourself into it. Oh, it's gonna, for those of you who have never done it before, you're going to feel it. So you just go like this and you right into it. This is what I want you guys to do. We're going to put people in four corners. So split up an even number in each corner. And I just want you guys to sit down in the turnbuckle like this. And believe it or not, the harder you do it, the easier it feels. Just like that. So give me four guys in each corner. Warren, you want to help keep an eye and show people how to do it? I, I, yeah, one in this corner. Put one guy in this corner. First of all, just, just set down in it. And feel that's where you want to hit. So when you come forward to me, you just kind of come forward and then you just <clears throat> sit down in the turnbuckle. Yeah, maybe a little bit higher. You want your uh, tailbone there to kind of hit the middle of the pad. Yeah, yeah, yep. You feel it? Right, right. Your back hits this, and your your mid back hits. I mean, something barely. I'm just like I'm sitting. I'm sitting down into it. I stand up. I'm sitting down, just like that. That's it. That's it. You're a pro. You got it. Okay, stop. First of all, you're jumping into it. You set into it. Okay, so you're just in here and just kind of... Yeah, boom. Kind of like sitting down. And your ass is hitting this turnbuckle while your back's hitting this one. So you're, it's not like that. It's a, it's a small, gentle. This is this is how I want you to do it. No harder than this. Believe me, because uh, we're going to get to the advanced stages. Is your tail, is your at, top of your ass bone and your back at the same time? Yeah. Then you're doing that. You're right. That's it. Does that feel good? Yeah. It won't when I throw you into it. <laughs> well, I mean, it feels better if you hit it wrong, though. Kind of a, um, kind of a little more of like a, when I when I do it, you can just just stand up and just a, just like a little little little, little squat. Look at here. Guys, try to try to stay in until I um, can watch you do it. Just right around the ropes, right there, and just. Is your, there you go. Right, that's it. Does that feel better? Okay. Cool. All right. Is your uh, top of your tailbone hitting the uh, second one? Yep. There you go. You're back in it. That's it. Good. Very good. Keep going, guys. <clears throat> Keep going until I see everybody do it. Well, you guys don't have to do it. You guys already know, but. Mm -hmm. Does that feel good to you? Top. <laughs> Does that feel good to you, baby? <laughs> Does the, the pad hit the top of your tailbone? Yes. Right there. Perfect. How's it feel, little Mysterio? Feel good? Does that feel better? Yeah. Try to hit the, your butt and your back at the same time. There you go. Yeah, is that better? Yeah. That double whammy hurts bad. So everybody went? All right. Now comes the fun part for me. 
<laughs> we're going to make two lines. One line here and one line here. Two lines, guys. So everybody here, just move up to there. You're going to start in this corner. Walk yourself over and put yourself in that corner. We're going to walk the first time through, guys, all right? We're not going to run. We're going to slow up a little bit. If you take off, you're going to hurt yourself. Well, you're going to hurt yourself. It's going to hurt. You just stand here, take a couple shots, and then take off. And you step out. Okay? So, this guy go once, boom. Step to this guy go. Boom. This guy go, boom, and this guy go. Before this guy goes, make sure that guy's out of the way. That way I can, I can see you right in the okay? All right, two guys. Yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah, twice. Take off. Do it. That's what we're going to build up to, guys, eventually. Don't do it now. First timers, just walk. He's probably taken five or six turnbuckles in his life. All right. Forgot to mention, guys, when you're going to hit a turnbuckle, spin this way, boom, and hit. Always. Boom. It's kind of different than getting up. This is one of the cases where you spin to the left. Oh. Very good. Perfectly executed turnbuckle. Very good. You guys can go ahead and step up and stay on the outside and be ready. kind of like was a little too low. We'll get to it. It happened. Nobody does it perfect every time. Good job. Very good. Very good. Very good. Spin the other way when you come in. Yeah, spin the other way when you come in. Yeah, when you come in, you're gonna spin this way. Bam! Very good. Perfect turnbuckle right there. That's what you guys will be doing by the end of this night. Very good. You're gonna feel that tomorrow. Very good though. Oh, the ropes, when you catch you hit sideways, it can get your rope right on your butt. Very good, buddy, very good. you're a little taller, you have to adjust a little bit. Good job. Very good. Let me know when uh, the first person to start gets back up again. 
Okay. Who's first on that side? Did you feel that? You didn't hit it flush. You hit it more off the side and you hit that rail better. You'll feel that tomorrow. So everybody went? You little Mysterio, you the last one? Very good. All right, this time we're gonna put a little bit more steam behind it. You guys can go to a uh, light jog to a little bit of a run if you want and spin and hit it. All right, don't be scared, don't be scared. Just turn and hit it. If you hit it wrong, you'll know it because you'll go, ah! Just you're going to go like that. So don't be afraid. Let's do it. <laughs> Very good, see? That's what I want to see you guys doing. But not today. Not today. What did you do wrong? Turn the wrong way, right. Go over and try it again. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you another chance. You know, you, you just didn't hit perfectly square. You know what I mean? Yeah, it takes time. It, take, it takes time. Like, very good. Jump into it. I mean, you, you got to. You got this jumper, jumping bean. I'm going to call him jumping bean. You, uh, he wants to jump. Just, you just set down into it, just like the ropes. All right, try again. There you go. Way to go, JB. Good. Very good. Turn the wrong way. Try again. Way to go, wrong way. I'm going to call you wrong way. Jumping bean, little Mysterio, and wrong way. Did you feel that? <laughs> you did. Very good. Very good. Not bad. We'll work on it. Just takes time, takes practice. Because you just didn't hit it square, that's all. You hit it more on to the right side, though. Yeah, you'll get it, though. Practice makes perfect, you know what I mean? Very good. Very good. Not bad. <laughs> 
Not bad at all. Way to go, little Mysterio. Is that everybody? All right, so what have we done so far? We've jumped over the top rope. We've ran the ropes. We've taken a bump. And we've hit a turnbuckle. So, what do you think I want you guys to do next? We're going to do it all. So you're going to jump over the top rope, run the ropes, until I say stop. Then you'll stop here, you'll take a bump, boom! And then you'll get up, turn to the right, and hit the, hit the turnbuckle to your right. And then you'll get out. All right? Remember that? All right. Let's go. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want, fellas. All right? But he has uh, been around for a while, and he went pretty fast. You guys don't have to do it that fast. Do it however comfortable you feel to it. I'm going to let you guys go. And if I tell you to slow down, I'll tell you to slow down, okay? So this is all on you guys. Go at your own pace. Just do it right. Take a bump. Good, very good. Now see, when he took a bump here, he spun to his right. He should have just went straight here like this. Boom, and then hit that turnbuckle. But that's okay, that's all right. We're learning here. Scoot over that way more to the turn. There you go, right there. Yes, you did it. Take a bump. Stop. Get up the right way. Take a bump. No, oh, you don't get out easy. You got to take another bump. Spin to the right. There you go. Very good. Very good. Very good. Take a bump. Good, very good. Very good, man. Take a bump. Good, but you, uh, you got to set down into the turnbuckle, you know, because you kind of hit it sideways. You know, don't be afraid to slow down just a little bit. You do it right, okay? Good job. Take a bump. Take a bump. Very good. You did it. Take a bump.
Kamba. Ah. <laughs> very good. Very good, very good. Bingo. Come on, jump and beam. Take a bump. Very good. Way to go, JD. Take a bump. Very good, man. Very good, very good. Look at that. Yeah, you're pro. Take a bump. Very good. Shoot your legs that way. That's why put your hands right here, and that way you got a good stable base. And then when you shoot your legs up over, if you have to, you're so big, put one hand there, and then we got more to lean on, shoot your legs over that way. Watch the nards. Watch the nards. <laughs> Lean down into the ropes a little bit. Sit down into it just a little bit. There you go, not that much. That's better. Take a bump. Bump. You all right? You kind of double whammy yourself. You kind of double whammy yourself. Your upper back hit first. Good job, though. Nice job. Take a bump. Too soon. There you go. Getting better. Take a bump. Nice job. Way to go, wrong way. Jack Black. Take a bump. Yeah, you gotta tuck your chin. Oh, you gotta, yeah, oh, you gotta, go that way. Yeah, hit that son of a bitch. There you go. Detroit. There you go. What do you got, little Mysterio? What do you got? 
Take a bump. Very good. That's my number one pick right there. <laughs> Hit that thing hard. Hit it. Nice try. Good job. Is that it? Give you guys self a hand. That was pretty good. That was really good, man. That was good. Let's see. Who all have I gave nicknames to? We got Detroit. We got Jack Black. Let's see, we got Jumpin' Bean, Little Mysterio, and Wrong Way. Just because you don't have a nickname doesn't mean I don't like you. It just means I'm picking little things out. Give you a nickname. Uh, let's see. What do you guys think so far? Any questions? There's gotta be at least one. No questions? They're serious, no questions. I'm not going to move on until I get at least one question. I mean, simple, hey, how are we doing? That's a question. What's next? Very good. <laughs> this time I want you guys to get up here and hit the turnbuckles a lot harder, all right? I've been waiting to see this ever since I first seen you guys take a turnbuckle. You saw, uh, where's, my, where's my IWW veteran? Where'd he go? This is how I want you guys to try and hit this turnbuckle now. The harder you hit it, the less it, the less it hurts, believe it or not. It's just like a bump. The higher bump you take on your back, the less it hurts. I don't, I don't, I don't understand, I don't know why, just the way it is. But, don't be scared, and I want you guys to hit the turnbuckles harder this time. Because as you noticed, we're speeding things up a little bit, right? But, I gotta get you guys hitting the turnbuckles just a little bit harder before I can move on to the next step. All right? So, go for it. Make sure you turn the right way when you hit the turnbuckle. Don't be scared, it doesn't hurt. The harder you hit it, it doesn't hurt. I promise, I wouldn't lie to you. Yeah, see, see, <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I only lie to my girlfriends. Good. What'd you do wrong? Right. Ooh, you moved the ring. Do you feel that? That's, that's hitting the turnbuckle hard right there. Come on, jumping bean. How'd that feel? Yeah? <laughs> Go ahead and step up and be ready to jump in, guys. Hey, over the top rope. Nice job. Good job. That is. You moved the ring a little bit. That's good. Ooh, you hit the rope. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. That's perfect. Better. That was a lot better. That was a lot better. Very good. That was perfect right there. Perfect. Better. You net, you net it once, you can do it again. Hit that some bitch. I want to stand up a little bit higher. Okay, it'll feel better. Good.
jump over the top. Remember, sit down into it. Is that it? Is that your last one? Is that it? Everybody done it? Now we're going to have a little fun. So everybody went? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought everybody went. Go ahead. Good job, Detroit. Good job. Very good. That's how you do it. <laughs> You're going to be so sore tomorrow. All right, I want you to jump the ropes, no matter which way. If you jump in this side, boom, I want you to jump in. I just want you to hit the ropes, right? I'm going to tell you, take a bump. You're going to take a bump. Bam, boom, you're going to get up. You're going to go to the nearest turnbuckle. You're going to hit this son of a bitch so hard, it's probably going to rattle your teeth. Boom, you're going to stagger out, and you're going to take another bump. Do I need to demonstrate it, or you guys got it? You want an example? Son of a bitch. me having a little bit of fun, you know. But again, I've been doing it for 16 years. You've been doing it for 16 minutes. Big difference. Oh. All right, let's do it. Make two lines, and I'll get out of the way. Don't take a bump until I tell you to take a bump. Hit this rope. <laughs> Take a bump. Stagger out. Oh shit, oh shit, take a bump. <laughs> Nick. Take a bump.
Very good. Very good. On your feet. Come on. Take a bump. It's <laughs> creative. We're having fun now. Take a bump. Jumping bean. Ay, 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 ay. Arriba. Pick a bump. Oh, you made some noise and he sold. Holy shit. Stand the closer you get to the side, the more support you got. Throw your legs that way. Yeah, throw your legs. When you jump over, you slide your legs over. Take a bump. Good. Yeah, keep going. Take a bump. Hit that turnbuckle. Come on. Hit it hard. Stagger out. Take a bump. Very good. Take a bump. Hit the turnbuckle hard. There you go. There you go. Hit that son of a bitch. Be shy. Okay. Have you already went? Is, you guys, has everybody went? Come on, keep going, guys. Doing good. Take a bump. Nice bump. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Take a bump. <laughs> a bit of road dog there. Oh! <laughs> That's a hell of a way to get in the ring. <laughs> Take a bump. Hit the turnbuckle. Come on, run into it. Take a bump. Take a bump. Hit the turnbuckle, little, little Ray Ray. <laughs> Three five.
Take a bump. Jack Black, what do you got? Take a bump. Turnbuckle like you mean it. Very good. Give yourself a hand, guys. That's good. That's good shit. That's good shit. Everybody gather around. believe how far you guys came in just a couple hours. I cannot believe it at all. I cannot believe how far you guys came in just a couple hours. That's pretty good. That's real good, man. I'm, I'm actually, I'm impressed. Some of you guys first jumping in the ring, I was going, oh God, not a chance. And now, uh, I'm not saying that about anybody. I'm like, yeah, a little more practice and I think these guys have got it. Running the ropes, I think you guys got it. Hitting the turnbuckles, taking bumps. First time ever taking a bump, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's really good, man. I'm Now what you guys need to do, um, take what you learned today, and if you're serious about wanting to get into professional wrestling and you build on that, that, what I showed you guys today was the minimal basics. That's the first things I learned when I stepped foot in the ring. Jumping over the ropes, running the ropes, mini bump like that, and hitting the turnbuckles. And I was sore as hell the next day. But I did it for, there wasn't as many as you guys, there was only like six of us. So, and how many of you guys were there, 20, roughly? So, triple the amount of bumps and times you hit the turnbuckles today, even quadruple that. And that's how many times I hit it my very first day. I couldn't even move the next day, I was so sore. So just be ready. Warm baths and a leave. <laughs> Unless you're a little Mysterio, then he won't feel pain at all. Um, I, uh, how many guys are gonna come to the show tonight? I advise everybody to come to the show tonight, uh, and when you come to the show, watch the guys. Watch every one of them. Sit back and just take mental notes. You know what I mean? Um, I'm working tonight too, so uh, I will have my best game face on, as always. And uh, I'll see if, you can't, see if I can't teach you guys some stuff in there about entertaining, entertainment, you know what I mean? Um, but back to what I was saying, Build on what you guys learned today. Now remember, you were not trained by me. I did not train you. You had attended a training seminar where I showed you guys a few things. That's all it was. But I was glad to share and give you guys. Um, Irish Whip Wrestling is a great place to learn. They got great trainers and great guys, as you'll see tonight. If you guys haven't seen one of their shows, all the guys here are really good. They work hard. And the most important thing is, um, they work together. You know, nobody is out there thinking that they're better than anybody else. Nobody, everybody knows their place on the card. Everybody works together to try to create a, a good show. That's a whole other aspect of wrestling, uh, which is probably six, eight months down the road from your all's training. You first got to learn all the moves, you know, and um, the lingo, you know, there's a little